question 15 now um, I'm going for the quick way to do this so step one you take your initial value of 15,000 and then you multiply it by the multiplier for year one now if it depreciates by 23% which is 0.23 the value it holds is one less 0.23 which is 0.77 so the value it holds after one year is going to be 15,000 multiplied by 0.77 so that alone gives you the value after one year now in years two and three it depreciates it loses a further 18 percent each year so the value that it holds is one less this 0 0.18 which is 0 0.82 so for year two we have to multiply by 0 0.82 and then for year three we also have to multiply by 0 0.82 or in other words overall we're multiplying by 0 0.82 squared so all of that popped into your calculator gives you a value of £7,766.22 being its value after three years. Now we're told that, does Paul's car, that work out if Paul's car lost more than half of its value by the end of three years. Well given its initial value was 15000 if it lost more than half its value it would be losing more than 7500 it would be worth less than 7500 well that isn't the case it's worth more than 7500 it's worth this so no the car did not lose more than half its value after the three years half value would be 7500 but this car is worth this